Before watching this video, please make sure that you watch our tutorial video for the inequalities and the interval notation. That will help you to understand this tutorial video much better. Our topic is solving quadratic inequalities. For grade 9, you have your quadratic equation. But what if you have these quadratic inequalities? Let's say we have problem number 1. x squared plus 7x plus 10 is less than or equal to 0. Okay. So if it is equal to 0, that is easy because we already uh, discussed that in our equation, quadratic equation. But if we have less than or equal to 0, so, just like solving quadratic equation, we're going to factor our trinomial. To factor this, our shortcut is the product of factors of 10, which is, if you're going to get the sum, that must be equal to 7. Obviously, that is 5 times 2. So, x, x. Positive 5, positive 2. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 plus 2 is 7. Now, after getting the factors, find the zeros of our quadratic inequality. So, our zeros just equate to 0. So, x plus 5 is equal to 0. Then, x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to negative 5. And, x is equal to negative 2. This will be our zeros. Now, next step. You need to plot in our number line. Okay. Let's say this is our number line. We have 0, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4. And we have the negative numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Negative 4, negative 5. Let us extend. Negative 6. Okay. After getting our number line, locate negative 5. Where is negative 5? Negative 5 is here. And negative 2. Negative 2 is here. Now, let us test our inequality. Less than or equal to zero. So, let us check uh, the numbers on the left side of our negative five first. Of course, on the left side of the negative five, we have negative six, negative seven, negative eight. So, let us check one number on the left side. Let us check negative 6. Or if you want negative 7, that's okay. So, copy the factor. So, that is x plus 5 times x plus 2 less than or equal to 0. So, I will use negative 6 to test, to be checked. Negative 6 plus 5, and just substitute the value for x, negative 6 plus 2. It's less than or equal to 0. So, negative 6, I just substitute to x. Okay, then simplify. Negative 6 plus 5, that is negative 1. Negative 6 plus 2, that is negative 4. 
less than or equal to 0. Negative 1 times negative 4, that is positive 4, less than or equal to 0. Is 4 less than 0? No. So that means this is false because 4 is greater than 0. So that means all the numbers on the left side of negative 5 is not included because we have the answer of uh, it doesn't match. So this is false. How about in between negative 5 and negative 2? Uh, let us choose negative 4 or negative 3. If you want negative 4 or negative 3, that's okay. Just pick one number. Okay, I will choose negative 4. It's up to you. If you're going to choose negative 3, it's okay. So I will choose negative 4. So I need to substitute as our x. So negative 4 plus 5. And negative 4 plus 2 less than or equal to 0. So negative 4 plus 5, that is positive 1, times negative 4 plus 2, negative 2, less than or equal to 0. Now we have 1 times negative 2, negative 2, less than or equal to 0. Is negative 2 less than 0? Yes. So that means it is true. True. And last one, let us check the numbers on the right side of negative 2. You can choose between negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, it's up to you. But I'm going to choose 0 because this is the easiest one. So I will substitute 0 to our x, 0 plus 5. 0 plus 2, less than or equal to 0. 0 plus 5, that is 5. 0 plus 2, that is 2, less than or equal to 0. 10, less than or equal to 0. Is it true or false? This is false, because 10 is greater than 0. Take a look at our answers. False, true, and false. That means in, in our inequality, these numbers uh, satisfies our inequalities. So, as our final answer, using interval notation, so we're going to close. Why close? Because that is equal to negative 5. And... We're going to close to negative 2 as our final answer. Why close? Because negative 5 and negative 2 are included. So our numbers are just the following. Negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2. Those are the numbers that will make our inequality true or correct. Now, I want you to answer this problem. Our problem number two is x squared minus 2x minus 15 is greater than or equal to 0. Again, x squared minus 2x minus 15 is greater than or equal to 0. Please try to answer that given. And if you are done answering, please proceed in our next video to check your work. I will put the link in our description box. Please invite your classmate to visit our channel. Thank you for watching Senior Comments.